Hello, I'm Angie Monco, your Holistic Divorce Coach for Women. Today I want to talk about three ways increasing positive intelligence can help you with divorce recovery. Shirzad Shameen created this thing that he calls positive intelligence that is meant to turn down the voices of our saboteurs, which he collectively calls the judge, and turn up the volume of our sage or our higher self. And so by doing this, um, we're able to handle more difficult things like going through a divorce and make wise decisions for ourselves and our kids. There's this part of our brain called the amygdala that causes us to make knee-jerk reactions and out of fear. Um, and our significant other has a way of triggering us more than anybody on the planet, um, especially when going through divorce. And this power struggle comes about as a result of that, like the blame-shame game, the need to be right, the need to be in control. And, and so how can we reverse this pattern? The good news is that by having positive intelligence, we can reverse this pattern of the power struggle with our ex. And the good news is it doesn't rely on our ex to cooperate. So that's great, really great. It's the key to really unlocking our freedom from the impact of divorce so that we can not only recover from it, but actually come out stronger. Um, there is actually a part of you that's not bothered at all by the divorce, we call it your sage or your higher self. Um, and when, we, when we're living with greater positive intelligence, we aren't hijacked by our emotions. Instead, we're living mindfully. As we practice interrupting these patterns and habits and behaviors of our fear-based brain, the amygdala, and we instead pay attention to our body, our environment, our breath, or whatever's happening in the now, we actually increase our higher self's capacity to handle life. And such things as divorce. Okay, here are the three ways that increasing positive intelligence helps divorce recovery. Number one, it help, positive intelligence helps us to reframe the divorce in a more positive light. So here's an example. My ex helped me to understand myself better and to grow as a person. I wouldn't have been able to, to do this if they hadn't reflected back to me my habits and patterns. There's this parable of this farmer who had uh, lived on a farm with his son and his horse. And one day the barn door was left open and the horse was allowed to, to escape. His neighbors came by and they're, oh, I'm so sorry that that happened. And he's like, good, bad, who's to say? So then a few days later, the farmer's horse returned and falling over two more horses. And they were so happy for him. And he said, good, bad, who's to say? I'll share the rest of this story on the next video parable of the farmer continued. So the new horses, they weren't broken in. So the son had to work them hard to break them in. And so while he was doing that, he fell off one of the horses and he broke his leg. They lamented with the neighbor and he said, well, good, bad, who's to say? Well, um, a while later, a war broke out in the countryside and so because the son was healing from a broken leg, he wasn't required to go to war. And there were many other people dying from the war. So they again went to the farmer, the neighbors and said, man, you're so fortunate that your son wasn't shipped off to go to war. And he's like, good, bad, who's to say? And so this notion of reframing is so, so important. We, if we're honest, don't have any idea of all the ripple effects of all the choices that we're going to make in our lifetime. Good, bad, who's to say? Number two, positive intelligence encourages us to see our ex through the eyes of compassion. For example, I loved them at one point in time and I know they have done their best given their life experiences and beliefs. This wasn't personal, even if they think that it was. Um, sometimes when we experience a lot of trauma when we're kids growing up, um, we can develop a lot of compassion or, for others because we understand their pain. Um, this was my experience. So we've expanded our empathy muscle. On the other hand, um, sometimes when we get really hurt, we can become bitter and closed and distressing and want to isolate. So it all depends on how we interpret the circumstances of our lives. If we decide to blame others for how we feel, it's easy to fall in the angry camp and then we're not really empowered. Positive intelligence is just the opposite of that. Number three, positive intelligence helps us to move on and focus on the future that we want to create. For example, I have my whole life in front of me and as long as I'm loyal to myself and never give up on me, I will be fine. Everything will be okay. 
after our divorce, our confidence can really take a nosedive. And if we continue to lament the past and all of our failed choices, we'll remain stuck. Positive intelligence encourages us to come back to the present moment through breath, sound, touch, sight, or focus of some sort. It's like hitting the reset button and recharging our battery. Um, if, we, if you can relate to anything I've said here, I wanna invite you to increase your positive intelligence and recover from divorce um, by attending my upcoming Heal Your Heart online retreat. Um, go to harmonyharbor.com forward slash heal dash your dash heart. I really wanna help support you while you go through divorce. Thank you.